Well, tonight we are breaking down the right way to cover your nose and mouth with a cloth to help stop the spread. In late February, Surgeon General Dr. Jerome Adams tweeted, quote, Seriously, people, stop buying masks. They are not effective in preventing the general public from catching coronavirus. Now, a new recommendation from the CDC to cover your face with a non-medical mask as a precaution. This is voluntary. I don't think I'm going to be doing it, but you have a lot of ways you can look at it. What we said we should do a week ago may be different than what we're saying today. So should you cover your face? Aid on Your Side spoke with Dr. John Green. He's the chief of infectious diseases at Moffitt, a hospital epidemiologist. Plus, he's been studying infections for 30 plus years. What we found out is that when people are talking, they're potentially spreading the virus. Some people have claimed that talking for five minutes is the equivalent of one cough. The new mask recommendation is driven by research that shows asymptomatic patients can spread the virus. So if you do choose to wear a mask, you're helping to protect others from your potentially infected droplets. How did we do it without causing more harm? So uh, we don't realize, but uh, every hour we touch our face about 30 times. Bottom line, Dr. Green says whether you wear a mask or not, you still need to follow the old guidance. Stay at home, practice social distancing, and wash your hands. And again, it is critically important that you not use the N95 masks or the surgical masks. We still need those for our healthcare workers on the front line. And the newsroom, Masasaidi, eight on your side.